Hi, my name is Yaya. This is uh, another short video. This time uh, it will focus on a very simple um, uh, tool, which is the distance calculator. The, 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 the topic sounds very simple, but in fact it's very important. It's very important you establish um, accurate distance between two sites. And uh, there's, there's heaps of techniques that you might come across. Uh, just be careful. Um, we're not looking for uh, ground distance. We're not looking for um, line of sight distance. We're looking um, at the ellipsoidal distance um, from from the site, from one side to another. And I have two sites here uh, as an example. So this is this is ACMI site numbers. Okay. So site one, and um, and then site number two. So I want to establish accurately the distance between these two sites. The process is very simple. So you just run the plugin and then you go to the tools and then you go to ellipsoidal distance calculator. So here we're using uh, uh, different uh, ellipsoid mo models. And as you know, um, modern modern GIS data and modern GPS systems, they're all based on WGS84. And for your information, GDA94 is also compatible with WGS84. So these two are exactly the same. This is um, um, capturing the the, um, um, the 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 spheroid the spheroid model of the of the planet. So we have two D mode and three D mode. So if you have the antenna height uh, of the site, you can establish the distance from from the antenna uh, A to antenna B. If you are only interested uh, um, uh, for the for the location itself, not not the height of the antenna, then you can just go two D. So the process is very simple. You just copy the first site, you put it here, you copy the second site, you put it here, and you're good to go. Find. So that will connect to, um, um, to the database and then establish the long for every site. And because it's 2D, the height is grayed out. So you can see here we have exactly 123 kilometers and 749 meters, 0.47. That's the distance. We also established the, the azimuth and the reverse azimuth. So we have azimuth from A to B and then B to A. Okay, so the reverse one. If you need to establish a distance, then you need to put, uh, uh, based on 3D, then you need to put, for example, this is 45 meter height site. Uh, 45, this is 30 meter height. And then here we go, it will update it. Okay, so this is a very um, 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 accurate technique. It's based on uh, Vincenti. Um, uh, inverse method to establish a distance and we're using actual model of the earth we're using the WGS84 a spherical is not accurate so spherical is, like, is assuming the planet is a perfect sphere and um, and obviously this is not correct maybe it is correct if you are living on the uh, equator and you're looking at the the, um, the longitudinal distance okay but well, here in Australia, that can be a problem. So you need to establish a more accurate model. And I advise to use WGS84, which is GDA94, in fact. So that's it. This is what I wanted to show you. And um, stay in touch for another video.